As we begin this ninth video, hopefully it's become apparent that the kind of jobs we're talking about are jobs where you're thinking a lot and having to organize your ideas. So we'd like to give you some basic guidelines as to how to organize your ideas and how to use the wiki as a tool to do that. So we're going to start off by creating yet another wiki page called Organizing Ideas. When thinking about organizing your ideas, think of the ideas as the wood or screws that are utilized by the online tools. The tools work with the ideas and together they build something. That something might be a list of things, it might be a particular succinct subject matter, it might be an article or a whole series of things wrapped together into a complex story. But either way, the ideas are the content that the tool utilizes. Now, when starting to work with ideas and organizing them, it's important to put in the context of, well, where am I going to be editing and creating these ideas? So in our case, it's the wiki that we use to create and edit our ideas. And under what context will I be using these ideas? Is this for me giving a speech or something I'm going to teach in a class? Is it a sales pitch I'm trying to convince people? And under what context I use these ideas, that's always important as well. Now, as you methodically organize the idea, you need to be able to state the topic and express it succinctly. You need to be able to structure the idea, to be able to say if there's any hierarchy or what's called a taxonomy about the idea. You need to be able to attach tags and represent the idea. Okay, These are all parts of the tools you use when organizing your thoughts and your ideas. And by the way, when we say organizing ideas, that's the same as saying, I'm organizing my thoughts, I'm organizing a project, I'm organizing an event, I'm using categorization to structure and organize a knowledge base, I'm organizing my media collection, I'm organizing my friends, or I'm collecting together a bunch of conversations that I have, and I'm taking those conversations and forming ideas around them. Or I'm just collecting a whole bunch of links. In fact, that will be one of the first assignments we give you. We want you to go out and find 50 links and organize them and categorize them however you see. All right, so that's the first assignment. The next assignment we'd like to give you is to go off and build a knowledge base. And if you even know what a knowledge base is, good luck. Okay, let me give you a real world example of organizing ideas. Let's say we want to organize tomorrow's class, right? This is day one of the class, and now I want to create a to-do list of all the things, the agenda for tomorrow's class, all right? So we'll come in, and the first thing we do tomorrow is that we'll go over the assignments that everyone has done. We'll analyze and review basically the homework. Then I'll go through an inspirational pitch and I'll tell you about why this is so important and I'll explain feeds and friends and following. And what are the differences between those three kind of social media terms? Hopefully some of you will have figured out what a knowledge base is, but then I'll launch into this long diatribe and explanation of knowledge bases and give you examples of different kinds of knowledge bases. And then I'll start going over some of the learning tricks we're going to be doing and utilizing in class, some of the games and what's called gamification that we're doing. I'm then going to go over another kind of assignment called an interview. And then finally, we're going to end up with the notion of producing an event. Hey, folks, let's put on an event. That's what we're going to do. So all these items are going into this to-do list for tomorrow's class. That's called organizing my ideas about tomorrow's class, right? That's personified as this agenda. Get it? Now, this agenda is what we call persistent. It's going to be here forever. And that's another key thing about thinking about ideas, is that they're, once you put these ideas down into the wiki, they're there forever. Remember how I earlier put up that script about a baseball film? Well, that's going to be there forever.
And these things are simultaneous, right? So I've got these different ideas that are laid out. Some of them take a while to gestate and evolve. Some of them I just have the idea and I'm done. Some of them have a very short fuse, like we're going to use it for tomorrow's class. And some of them are actually for the projects themselves. So the simultaneity of all these different ideas is then also connected with the concept of interconnection. So we're putting a bunch of ideas into the wiki, and sometimes we're going to use Google Docs and the word processing capabilities of Google Docs. Sometimes we'll be using a spreadsheet in Google Docs as well, or sometimes we'll use a slide share. And our tools are all over the web, and they're all interconnected together. I could have one idea that's interconnected between all these different tools, right? I could have a distributed, non-centralized system where no one person, no one vendor is in control, or I could choose to centralize it. Either way, all these different aspects of working with ideas, think of it as thinking as a job. You're going to get paid to think. If we can teach you how to use your mind to think, to use this wiki as a tool, to use Google Docs as a tool, then your job will be thinking. You're going to get paid to think. Now, if you're getting paid to think, and the tools are what you're using to do that thinking, well, then think of the collection of the tools kind of like as a tool belt or a toolbox. And in this toolbox, you go in there and you get the right tool for the right job. So if I'm going to organize and put on an event, that would be different than if I need to go record an interview and transcribe that interview. Or if I'm going to do something with photographs, I'm going to need a place to keep track of all my photographs and organize them. Or if I'm going to do something that involves travel or someplace around the world, then I'm going to want to go find a website that has that travel information. Those are all different kind of tools. The final example I'm going to give when talking about organizing ideas is to explain something called tagging. Now, I'm not talking about tagging the way Facebook utilizes it, which basically says this is the name of a person in a photograph. I'm going to use the more general definition of tagging, which says take a keyword, a word, and attach it to something, like attach it to a blog post or attach it to a photograph or a video. So you'll see the word tagging used differently around the web. For our example, I'm going to go back to that blog post I created on Doc Searles and I'm going to add some tags. I'm going to say customer, I'm going to say jobs, I'm going to say Doc Searles. These are three tags that I'm going to attach to the blog post. Now why am I doing that? Well, first of all, it'll help me find the blog post later. If I can't remember the exact title of the post, I can remember the fact that it was written by Doc Searles or that it was about customers. So I just go search for customer. And I can also use my tag to associate it with other things that have the same tag. So over a year's period of time, if I create a bunch of tags that say the word customer and I go search for it, I get all the different situations where I use the word customer as a tag. And then finally, I can use tagging to kind of structure things, to attach meaning to them so that I can then organize them into categories later. So these are all the different things that we would use tagging for. So tagging is a kind of a tool. Creating lists is a kind of a tool. Structuring things. These are all different kind of tools. There's no exact single way to do it. You could use a word processor. You can use a wiki. You know, the wiki has some benefits. So we're going to show you this different tool set with all these different possibilities. And then you'll start to get to feel comfortable with them. But for now, for our classroom setting, let's just use the wiki as our main tool. So we've talked about a couple of assignments we're going to give you. One that goes off and has you collect links. And the second is when you create a knowledge base. This is the beginnings of our assignments.